eye goblins. Hey, what's up guys? Trex here and welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 with TXW. This episode we are going to be finishing up this apartment that I started off camera so that we can move our electrician or mechanic and as well as we're going to go down and visit our demon altar to craft up a knight's edge. That should be pretty fun. We've got the goblin army invading for whatever reason, which is a perfect backdrop for testing out the power of the Knight's Edge, even though I pretty much know how powerful it is, because I've played with it before. It's still useful. Uh, let's just kill these guys off real quick. Booyah. All right, so down here. By the way, today is Oscar Sunday, even though that's not the official name of it. Uh, today is the day of the Oscars. So I've got some predictions that I'll share in a moment, but first... <gasps> oh yeah, Knight's Edge. Savage Knight's Edge! Oh, that's so much better. 53 melee damage. Oh, that is fantastic. And it's flaming. That is fantastic. We can test it against these schmucks. Oh, this just... This just tears through the goblins like butter. Oh man, that is... That is fantastic. But anyways, Oscar predictions. Today is the Sunday... Uh, February 28th, which means it is Oscar time. So I've got some predictions. Starting off with uh, best visual effects. I am predicting that Mad Max Fury Road will win that one. Um, and then I've, I think I've got four predictions, four main predictions. Uh, best actor. That one has to go to Leonardo DiCaprio. He slept inside a dead horse for Pete's sake. He totally deserves this Oscar. Uh, best, um, what was it? Best animated feature has got to go to Inside Out. Best documentary feature has to go to The Look of Silence. Best foreign film, I believe, will go to, uh, The Look of Silence. Best sound mixing, I believe, will go to, uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Best sound editing, I can't remember the contenders. Uh, so yeah. Best cinematography has to go to The Revenant, that one, or that they used all natural lighting to film that movie. And best actress, uh, I don't know, Kate Blanche and Carol, sure, why not? Uh, nobody saw Brooklyn, so, oh well. And finally, my prediction for best picture is Spotlight. The Cheery Family! Surely messed that one up. The cheery family-friendly movie of the summer is Spotlight. Join Michael Keaton, Mark Ruffalo, and Rachel McAdams as they investigate Catholic priests molesting little children. It's fun for the whole family. So yeah, I think Spotlight's going to win Best Picture because it's just edgy enough to get that, that type of Academy Award. Um, so yeah, those are my Oscar predictions. If anybody has any Oscar plans, be sure to tell me in the comments below because I'd like to hear. So now let's move on to finishing up these um, apartments. Quick, uh, Oscar, or the uh, goblins can continue fighting in the background. We don't really need to care too much about them. They're not very important. Oh, I need some wood still, but uh, yeah. So let's get these all filled up with wall and stuff. That's good, that's good. And we'll get some paintings from the painter right after this. Try and fill in wherever possible. And I think that's good. Where do we need to put our torches? Come on, NPCs, do your jobs. Kill the uh, guys. Let's put in those. Oh, man. He is uh, really laying it on to me. Alright. Just blast him! Blast him! Alright. What do we... how do we mold these? If I, um, do this... yeah, sweet, still works. Doors are still functional like that, so that is fan flippin tastic Let's put down some torches. I should... I believe that should be the rest of the doors that we need. Um, gotta put this back, and I'm missing a door. There it is down there. Perfect. Now I'm just going to put those two torches back in there. So, boom, these are done. We just have to put this painting back, and that should be good. Now let's get some silk, and we're going to need a lot of wood. We're going to need a dresser, some pots, some vases, and some couches. 
I believe I had a couple of those things up here in my furniture section. Yep, we got two chairs that we need. What else was there? There's a chair, a dresser. Yep. So we got the chairs. Do we have the dressers? Yeah, there's one. Um, and two paint vases. Sweet. We need some flower pots. All right. And then finally we need a couch. Oh man, these guys are not doing any damage whatsoever to me. They are weak. Just weaklings. All right, let's do this. Then we'll go grab some trees, chop those down to get the wood requirements we need to finish up these apartments and we'll be good in the next episode i guess we could try finding the wall of flesh and getting into hard mode yay uh i'm gonna finish out mapping the dungeon on my own that's a fairly boring activity but until then i'll we'll just keep working at this until we get enough wood to build everything we need nice and proto these goblins are kind of a nuisance, but they aren't doing any damage, really. So it's not too bad, I suppose. But oh well, so uh, if you want to leave your Oscar predictions in the comments below, I'm really interested in hearing what everybody thinks will win, and seeing where the opinions differ and the arguments begin. But I believe that that is enough wood for now. So, let's get to it. We need some silk. Which is right up here. Finish. Where's the silk? Oh man, they knocked down my gate. Come on, man. Come on, man. Alright. Grab this. These guys are. Man, remember our first goblin invasion when we were in expert mode? That was not fun. That was not fun at all, because that was just annoying. Alright. Okay, I, I'm, I've had enough of your random invasion, you stupid goblins. Okay, you're knocking down my gates, you're killing my family. Oh, wait, no, that was me, never mind. Um, yeah, you're ruining the Oscars for everyone, literally. But you are giving me plenty of money, so that is pretty nice, I must say. Two, two sofas, awesome. A nice dresser, where's that? Dresser, dresser. Will you stop killing me, you peon? I'm gonna pee on you, peon. Yeah. That's a bit weird. But I know some people are into that sort of stuff. I'm gonna stop talking. This, this is getting very weird very fast. Yay. Alright. Last thing we need is a nice clay pot. And then two paintings. So come here, Carlos. Or whatever your name is. Stefano. My name is Stefano. It is not De Carlos, it is Stefano. Alright, where is painting daylight or underground reward? I'm gonna. Yeah, it's too day, uh, the daylight painting. Alright, so we'll get that. Oh, wait, we need the uh, marble platform still. So we'll grab that and then we'll be good. But until. Oh, come on, man! Come on! I was placing a painting and you hit me. Dang it! Alright, it's fine. Put down the sofas. Getting there. Dressers. Boom, Diada. Boom, Diada. Alright, chairs. Perfect. And finally, un pink vas. Dos pink vas. Un. Dos. Hot. Those will grow. And for now, the apartments are good. Uh, except we just need two little marble platforms. So we got ourselves a nice, savage Knight's Edge. We built two more apartments so that we can move um, these uh, schmucks. Uh, whatever her name is. The mechanic. Yeah. We can move the mechanic to our house. And also, we've been finding a goblin invasion in the background without dying. So that's it for this episode of Terraria 1.3 JCW. I know these episodes have been a bit shorter lately, but I like it. It means that I can be more off camera and it has a higher attention span and stuff. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Terraria 1.3 JCW. Be sure to leave your Oscar predictions in the comments below for my reading pleasure. I will see you all next time and. 
Get out of the bathroom. Goodbye.